Would you like to see? Crocodiles and snakes are two well-known and most dangerous reptiles. In the animal world, they often have to cross paths with each other, and such encounters often end in epic battles. It's worth a look. In this episode, I'll show you the battles of crocodiles against giant snakes, as well as share other unusual confrontations involving reptiles. Let's go! Anaconda vs. Cayman Several years ago, Kevin Dooley, a 58-year-old animal photographer, captured a fight between a giant anaconda and a caiman in the Brazilian jungle. The man, who was near Pantanal, went on hunting with a camera in the jungle. Moving along the river in a boat, the man was photographing the picturesque surroundings when a splash of water caught his attention. When he turned around, he saw a snake strangling a caiman, one of South Africa's most dangerous crocodiles. Before Dooley's eyes, the anaconda wrapped its deadly grip around the reptile, squeezing its entire body. The caiman managed to twist and grip the anaconda's neck with its teeth, but it twisted and swam away, leaving its adversary at the sight of the fright. Since the photographer didn't observe the fight from the beginning, he doesn't know who the instigator was, but the snake undoubtedly did better. In Dooley's opinion, at some point the snake might not have had enough oxygen and let go of the caiman, only then could it bite it. But the snake slipped away, leaving it with injuries. However, this outcome is not particularly surprising. Anacondas can exceed 16 feet in length and are famous for their incredible strength. While caimans, although considered dangerous predators, grow to about 10 feet, the size is clearly on the side of the anaconda. Python vs. Crocodile An olive python and a young saltwater crocodile met in Queensland, Australia. The two reptiles had a dispute over a swamp near the city of Mount Isa, and it took them some time to decide which one of them was more suitable for lunch. The python and the crocodile ended up caught on camera by local kayaker Martin Muller, who only caught the final part of the scene. He noticed the reptile swallowing the motionless crocodile and decided to take some shots. The unique footage shows the snake gradually swallowing the reptile. What's so unique about it? The fact is that Although in this case the python eats the crocodile, such a heavy dinner can turn out badly. Snakes are very voracious, which is why there have been many cases when such meals ended badly. For example, one Myanmar python decided to eat a reptile in the same way, and either it didn't calculate its strength or it was too carried away by the eating process, but in the end it simply burst. The ability to swallow the victim whole is a distinctive feature of all snakes, but the olive python has this mechanism honed to perfection. The structure of its jaws allows it to open its mouth as wide as possible. Swallowing is followed by a long period of digestion, which can last for several weeks or even a month. At the same time, the olive python digests both coarse scales and crocodile teeth, despite the presence of keratin and enamel in them. Another python versus crocodile. Another similar encounter between a python and a crocodile took place at Lake Mundara in Australia and also resulted in the victory of the snake, which, after strangling its prey, dragged it to land and swallowed it whole in 15 minutes. This fight and the lunch that followed were observed by Queensland resident Tiffany Corliss. According to Corliss, the crocodile had no chance to free itself, despite the fact that it was twice the size of the snake. According to the girl, at first the crocodile resisted, trying to stick its head out of the water but the python was stronger and the crocodile gave up. After its victory, the python dragged its prey to the shore and proceeded to eat. After the python finally swallowed its prey, it crawled back to rest with the outline of the crocodile it had swallowed clearly visible outside. It's worth noting that the python is one of the most economical predators in the animal world. Its digestive tract is built in such a way that it digests large food for about several months. If the food was not very large, it would take several weeks to digest it. Therefore, if the python only eats big food, it only needs to feed 10 to 12 times a year and it will get all the nutrients it needs. As you can see, snakes are successful against crocodiles, but how they will behave in battles with other animals? Let's take a look at that as well. Stay tuned to see a python attack a deer, a battle between a leopard and a giant snake, and a confrontation between a snake and a dog. Python vs. Deer The jungles and deserts are home to many predators which struggle to survive and often need to hunt non-trivial opponents for their sustenance. This, for example, happened in India. 
a camera that was set up near a body of water in the state of Maharashtra captured the attack of a huge python on a deer. The snake ambushed the deer by hiding under the water. The deer that had come to the waterhole didn't notice the reptile. When one of them got a little closer to the water, the python was brought to light. In this footage, the huge snake can be seen jumping out of the water and swooping down on one of the four deer that were standing on the shore. The snake first sank its teeth into the animal's head, then wrapped itself around it and began to strangle it, and after a while it swallowed it whole. According to an Indian Forest Service official, pythons often use this method. When hunting their prey, they attack and grip the victim with their teeth in just a few moments. Python versus Leopard Tourists in Kenya's Masai Mara Game Reserve witnessed a fight between a leopard and a python. Safari participants noticed the big cat attacking the Central African rock python crawling in the grass. The python fought back with all its might. Once it managed to wrap its rings tightly around the leopard, and victory could have been on its side, but the leopard demonstrated fantastic agility and managed to escape from the embrace. The predator continued to bite and scratch the snake until it got its way. As a result, the python received many wounds, especially in the head area. The leopard was also injured. The most obvious wound was on its right front paw. Central African rock pythons are among the four largest snakes in the world. They grow up to 19.6 feet in length and weigh up to 220 pounds. Central African rock pythons are known to eat warthogs, antelopes that weigh up to 128 pounds, young Nile crocodiles up to 5 feet long, and even leopards. However, as you can see, in this case, luck was on the side of the spotted big cat. Snake versus Snake According to experts who study the behavior of snakes, fights between different species don't usually occur. In the animal world, battles for territory or simply biting and demonstrating one's own strength are considered normal, but this is something new in the reptile behavior. The main task in a battle between two snakes is to follow the opponent on its back, but snakes, such as the king cobra for example, continue to fight even when they're on their backs. We will stand and fight and die. Usually the fight between snakes is like a dance. A set of different movements would be the envy of any choreographer. The bodies of snakes are very flexible and can take different forms. In this footage, you can see how the snakes have been looking at each other for a very long time and have not started the fight. For the first few minutes, the reptiles study each other and try to figure out what the opponent will do. One researcher of snake behavior and a biologist was surprised by this battle because snakes of different species usually don't compete with each other, as mating with females of another species is impossible. The battle between the males was really dramatic. From the beginning, the advantage was on the side of the black snake, which actively bit its opponent. Thanks to slow motion, you can see the details of the fight and understand why the black snake was stronger. The author also decided to capture the outcome of the battle in this video. Python versus Honey Badger Safari participants in Botswana's Chobe National Park filmed a python attacking a honey badger, but ultimately falling prey to it. The snake tried to strangle the struggling animal. Not only did the python strangle its victim, but it also bit it. But honey badgers have thick enough skin so the animal survived. Eventually, fortunately for the latter, the snake was interrupted by a jackal running by. Driving it away, the snake loosened its grip, which the honey badger immediately took advantage of. Instead of running away and leaving its prey to the jackals, the honey badger began to chase them away, and at one point the animals began to pull the python like a rope. The second jackal bit the honey badger. But eventually the predator won. It grabbed the python by the tail and dragged it into the bushes. Python versus Dog Residents of Thailand rescued a dog that was being strangled by a huge python. In the video, filmed by eyewitnesses, you can see how the snake is curled around the dog and the dog only wags its tail, not understanding what's happening. Fortunately, men came to the rescue and did everything they could to save the animal. At some point, the dog stopped struggling and looked as if it would no longer be able to breathe. But the rescuers didn't give up and kept beating the snake with sticks. Eventually, the reptile let go of its victim, and to the surprise of the audience, the dog came back to life and ran away from its offender as if nothing had happened. That's all, guys. What's your favorite snake species? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.